the Channel 28 News Check with Andrea McDaniel. Good evening. Federal investigators say they've subpoenaed... This is a Channel 28 weather break. Good evening. Tonight's weather, well, look for some late night fog. And now, 28 Tampa Bay News. Good evening. Thanks for choosing 28 Tampa Bay News. I'm Brendan McGuire. You're watching 28 Tampa Bay News with Marty Tucker and Brendan McLaughlin. Meteorologist Wayne Shattuck and Drew Soisher Sports. Working hard to be your favorite. This is 28 Tampa Bay News with Marty Tucker, Brendan McLaughlin, and meteorologist Wayne Shattuck. You're watching ABC, and this is 28 Tampa Bay News with Marty Tucker, Brendan McLaughlin, meteorologist Wayne Shattuck, and Scott Hansen Sports. You're watching 28 Tampa Bay News with Marty Tucker, Brendan McLaughlin, meteorologist Dennis Phillips, and Jay Crawford Sports. From the studios of ABC 28, you're watching 28 News with Marty Tucker, Brendan McLaughlin, meteorologist Dennis Phillips, and Jay Crawford with sports. Live from wherever news is breaking, this is ABC Action News. Now it's six, a possible new victim and new threat against children from the serial sniper. A Bucks player is out of jail tonight after being accused of beating up his girlfriend. And a new development in the case of this missing Polk County baby. Good evening, I'm Marty Tucker. And I'm Brendan McLaughlin. It's our lead story tonight. At You're watching ABC Action News with Marty Tucker, Brendan McLaughlin, meteorologist Dennis Phillips, and Jay Crawford with sports. Taking action for you. From wherever news is breaking, this is ABC Action News. Happy Thanksgiving and good evening. I'm Linda Hurtado, in for Marty Tucker. And I'm Brendan McLaughlin. Thanks for joining us. Our lead story tonight, holiday sharing and caring. Our community really came together today. Thousands of people were able to celebrate the season only because of the goodwill of others. You're watching ABC Action News with Marty Tucker, Brendan McLaughlin, meteorologist Dennis Phillips, and Jay Crawford with sports. Taking action for you. Live from wherever news is breaking, this is your Taking Action for You station. Now, ABC Action News at 11. Now at 11, a big catch in St. Pete. Trappers corralled a giant gator, but not before it killed man's best friend. But first, Florida says adios to Ernesto. Tonight, the storm is gearing up for another coastal collision. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Brenda McLaughlin. Live from wherever news is breaking, you're watching ABC Action News in HD. Now at 6, an explosive controversy. The arrest of two USF students leads to claims of racial profiling. There's a new concern for parents whose kids may be playing with a popular online toy. And she won a lawsuit in court, but it took a call for action for this plaintiff to get paid. Good evening, I'm Brendan McLaughlin. And I'm Wendy Ryan. I You're watching ABC Action News in HD with Brendan, Wendy, Dennis with the latest AccuWeather forecast, and Al on sports. This is your Taking Action for You station. Live from wherever news is breaking. You're watching ABC Action News, now in HD. Now at 11, Florida Democrats may get a second chance to make a first impression, but not everyone is happy about it. Plus the dramatic new pictures from the scene of last summer's car crash involving Hulk Hogan's son. And meet the woman behind the sex scandal involving New York's soon-to-be former governor. Good evening, I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Brendan McLaughlin. First at 11, Florida Democrats have come up with a plan to give voters another shot at the primary. Now, from the station that's taking action for you, this is ABC Action News at 6.30. Hey, good Thursday morning to you. It's uh, September 3rd. Welcome back to ABC Action News at 6.30. I'm Dan Schaefer. And good morning. I'm Dia Riley on the right. From the station that's taking action for you, this is ABC Action News this morning. I'm Ashley Glass, and now at 5.30, is a sinkhole about to open up at this park back this way? I'll tell you how that question will be answered today. It's next. 
And good morning, I'm Dan Schaefer. Week five of testimony in the Casey Anthony trial begins in about three and a half hours. Why we won't see this type of scene outside the courthouse anymore. And also coming up, a new study reveals some serious risks that go along with those portable pools. The latest safety concerns that all parents should hear about. Good morning, I'm Dia Riley. Thank you for starting your day with us. We'll have those stories and more coming up in just a moment. But now, from the station that's taking action for you, this is ABC Action News this weekend. Now, from the station that's taking action for you, this is ABC Action News. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us this Wednesday. I'm Dia Riley. And I'm Ashley Glass. Dan Schaefer has the day off. Live from the station taking action for you. This is ABC Action News. Well, right now, five already flooded and holding their breath with the threat of more to come. Now, how deep the water is in the hardest communities right now. Live from the station taking action for you, this is ABC Action News. Child porn found on a computer at a Bay Area church. New tonight, what church officials are saying about the man accused of putting it there. From the station taking action for you, this is ABC Action News. God himself, he just saved me. Shot twice, convinced he was going to die. Now at 11, a security officer speaking only to ABC Action News as police finally track down the man they say tried to kill him. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. Deputies making an arrest in a violent shooting outside of a town and country apartment building from November. Live from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Taking action for you. Right now at 5, a mother and her child murdered. The disagreement over the... Live from this ABC Action News. Taking action for you. A possible service member's dog dropped off at a shelter without his knowledge. All new at 6, the race to find out who this dog really belongs to before it's too late. And a potential turn in the opioid crisis. Live from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News, taking action for you. Live look at Doppler radar tonight. Will it be rain or record heat or both tomorrow? Shay's here with the... Good morning, Tampa Bay. Let's get your day started. This is ABC Action News, taking action for you. Now at 9, today the city of Clearwater is going to present details on a major downtown waterfront. Live from Tampa Bay streaming news leader, this is ABC Action News, taking action for you. Right now at 3.30, the lowest temperatures we've seen this season ba blanketing the Bay Area. How long you're going to need the boots and heavier coats. ABC Action News starts right now with breaking news. Right now at 3 o'clock, we are standing by. ABC Action News starts right now with breaking news. As we come on the air right now, we begin with breaking news at 5 o'clock in Ruskin. Live from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News, taking action for you. All new at 6, begging FDOT for change after two women are killed on... Good morning, Tampa Bay. Let's get your day started. This is ABC Action News, taking action for you. Good morning, everybody. I'm James Sully. And good morning. I'm Dia Riley. We'll get a look at your wake-up forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your morning headlines. An update on that deadly pedestrian crash in Bartow that we first told you about is breaking news yesterday morning right here on Good Morning Tampa Bay. We now know it was a hit and run that... From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. The state Supreme Court continues to debate abortion on the ballot. What to expect as the court approaches the deadline to decide. And parts of South St. Pete are a food desert, but a plan could change that. What city leaders think about the plan to redevelop Tangerine Plaza. Thanks for joining us here on ABC Action News at noon. I'm from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Today, education leaders in Polk County will discuss changing school start times. Coming up, how you can get involved in the conversation. And former President Donald Trump is facing a deadline to pay a $454 million bond in his civil fraud case. What happens if he cannot pay it? Thanks for joining us here on ABC Action News at 3. Right now on ABC Action News at 4, we're following several developing stories that could impact how your children learn and potential changes to school start times. I'm Rebecca Petit in Polk County. I'll tell you the changes coming to the start times at Polk County schools and why they want to hear from parents. 
Plus, one Tampa Bay area city needs lifeguards for this summer. The best way you can snag a job coming up. Plus, in the circle of life, Tampa Bay area divers swim with great white sharks recently. We'll take you on their heart racing adventure. Welcome to ABC Action News at 4. I'm Lauren St. Germain. Students and parents. Live from Tampa Bay streaming news leader, this is ABC Action News, taking action for you. Right now at 5 tonight, dazed by the bell, the new state law that forces Florida. Live from Tampa Bay streaming news leader, this is ABC Action News, taking action for you. Right now at 6, a mountain of trash piling up at an illegal dump. I cannot understand for the life of me how, understand how it is that something unpermitted can go as long as this is gone. And now they have the gangs where no one can escape. New tonight, hearing from people in Tampa Bay about the situation in Haiti. It was very chaotic. A lot of shooting and uh, you could hear the weapons and, uh, at nighttime. While a Tampa-based nonprofit talks to us about their efforts on the ground to help U.S. citizens trapped. We have got to get these people out of this mess as quickly as, quickly as possible. And Florida's governor sends our National Guard members and other state assets to the Keys to stop migrants from making it to our shores. Hello and welcome to Tampa Bay Tonight. I'm Nadine Giannis. Before we get to our extensive coverage on the havoc in Haiti, our Tampa Bay Tonight team is following several developing stories. 